down here. Oh, sorry, I'm working on a very little space, so I use this create shape from selection. Um, and I just press yes, smooth is fine. And you can see it actually remembered my settings from the other from the other. So what this is is, is basically just a spline uh, on the rendering. I'm just gonna sorry. I have it's done for radial, which makes it um, um, a cylindrical shape. I used rectangular instead, and I actually also angled it at 19 degrees, so it so it had that right. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Uh, right orientation. Yeah. Um, and of course, I took my uh, steps down in order to um, so as to in order to make sure that. Uh, I didn't end up doing the um, the bricks with too many polys at the beginning. Um, so then I just applied an elbow poly, and it's basically the same thing as before. Um, I divided at each um, uh, each edge loop here, and I just make control edges for everything, just like before. And you can actually see I forgot to delete the um, the triangle down here, but again, you can't see this part, so it doesn't matter. And then I just apply a turbo smooth, and again, if we if we show it, this is the result. So it's maybe a bit too soft for bricks, but um, I wanted to make sure the normal mat will get the details when um when I do the baking. Okay, so let's go further away. Sorry, I'm just going to. Okay, so um. Everything is really basic on this, to be honest. Um, there isn't really much. Uh, these, for example, is just um, copied these and inverted them, and I uh, used an FFD box to make sure that uh, they had the right shape. I couldn't really figure out how to do it, so you can see they have a lot of um, different uh, what you call them modifiers. For example, the slice here made sure that it didn't go up between this and so on. Um, so again, really, really simple. Um, these, for example, these small ones you see here. Um, yeah, so it's a group, so I just have to open it. This was a spline that uh, I converted to an elbow poly and dragged the edges in. It's not the most clean modeling, I guess, but uh, it did the trick pretty much. You ain't gonna see them. So I thought that uh, it didn't really matter. And again, with a chopper smooth, it's just uh, this simple little shape. And splines, 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 more splines. We love splines. Okay, so what do we else do we have here? Um, oh yeah, one of these. I'm just gonna make sure I pick the right one here. That one. Okay, so this is a little ornament with some leaves on it, and it might look a bit bad at the moment because um, they don't really have enough edges to to form properly. But um, let's have a look at it. So this is symbol. Uh, I thought I started with a, a plane and then just start dragging out the general shape I wanted, and then again lots and lots and lots of uh, control edges to make sure that uh, we have some nice uh, sharp edges. So here we have. Um, the smooth result, so not really anything uh, particular there. And here we have the leaves, which are basically a simple um, plane modeling once again with um, a shell modifier. We can maybe start here and see the I start it look like this, so just a simple shape, uh, symmetry, and a shell to add some thickness to it, turbo smooth, and an FFD. So if I went out here and Sorry, I'm just gonna select these again. So if I went out here and enable turbo smooth on these, you will see that they deform much better. Just by already just having two, and also of course adding that on this, so we don't see the intervening meshes. You can basically see that this is just simple layering, and. It's just gonna be nice on the null map, anyways. But I thought it would be pretty cool to have some details on the high poly. I love um, doing high poly modeling, so I thought I might as well. So let's disable the turbo smooth again, and let's have a look at the last thing in just a second. Close the screw again. 
Okay, so what do we have? Well, it's actually pretty much the most interesting part. I guess this is again splines and a spline with um, the elbow poly attached. It's not even turbo smooth, I didn't see any need for it. And splines. Mm. Well, the trim here um, was a bit different way to to model the bricks um, instead of um, doing the gaps I did before. This is actually just an edge extrude inside, and um, then control it just once again. And I can show you quick how I did that. Um, if we just quickly take this part and hide everything else, so we don't uh, where is that? Okay, unhide, select it. So now, there we go. So that's imagined. Uh, this is actually just a big um, cylindrical with I think it was 48 etchers or something to begin with. And then I uh, let's imagine this is one of the segments. So what I did is um, I went in and used the uh, extrude while still having etches. Uh, sorry, I actually started using the chamfer and with two uh, segments. So you can see we have the middle edge once again. I um I actually made these control edges first, so I didn't have to do that manually but afterwards and then I select the middle one and use extrude inside. And you might wanna go up and depending on how tight you want it, you can uh, change this and also if you want to you can fiddle a bit with this so it doesn't intervene with the edges and stuff like that. So that is pretty much it. So when you turbo smooth this it will look great. I can go in and um so of course the tighter of the um the control that you start to um to the extrude um uh, the insert is actually um the more harder it will it will look and also um on my render I've posted on my thread I used um AO baking uh, sorry AO materials to kind of enhance the effect a bit so yeah I guess that's pretty much it, so if you have any questions, please do ask them, I'll be happy to, to answer them. Okay, Spencer out.